Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome. Shabbat Shalom. Oh my, I don't think I've seen the sanctuary this full since the high holidays. <laughs> this is wonderful. Well, in addition to our usual joyful celebration of Shabbat, this evening we get to celebrate two simchas in our community. We're going to celebrate with the Rosenberg J family as Lila becomes bat mitzvah this weekend, this Shabbat. And this evening, Noah is going to help lead our service and share with us a Devar Torah. And of course, we are also celebrating with the Bromberg Barwin family as we have a young couple who are about to get married. We're going to offer Brian and Caitlin a special blessing this evening and to celebrate with their family as well. So let us begin our service. We're going to start on page 120. And if you're not familiar, you can find the Sidor. You can find the prayer book underneath your seat, a little hidden treasure. Also, I want to acknowledge that we have a lot of old, dear friends who are with us this evening. And it's so lovely to see peace of people who haven't been in our sanctuary for quite a while. It's good to have you all with us. So we're going to begin on page 120, 120 of Hadlakata Nerot with the kindling of the Shabbat lights. And I would like to invite the uh, Rosenberg J family to join us up here on the Bima. And I'd like to invite the members of the Bromberg and Bromberg Barwin family to the candles down there on in front of the Bima. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, be our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Let us take a moment to root our hearts, our minds, our bodies in quiet and unity. For we rush all week long, we hurry, we busy, we work, we work, and we hold our breath. Will everything get done? It will not. So leave the toil behind, breathe out the week, and breathe in Shabbat. Tonight we are here singing, learning, listening, breathing, being together to the greatest work of the divine creation, each other, human to human, hand to hand, heart to heart, the unity of our beloved humanity. Let's all join together in the blessing, Baruch, Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kishanu B'mitzvotav, Tzitzibanu Lahat Begair Shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohim.
to be together, to dwell, to sit together, especially this evening of so many simchas. You'll find the words to Shalom Alechem on page 142. Shalom Alechem, Alechei to hear all your voices joining together tonight. Let's join them again, singing L'chad Odi to welcome the Shabbat bride amongst us. Um, the words you'll find on page 138, we are going to sing verses one and two and then jump to five, and then we will all rise if you're able, face the entrance door at the back to welcome Shabbat right into our sanctuary. Let's begin. Rat 
Pleasure to invite Noah J to lead us in Psalm 92. Page 140. A song. A psalm. A song for Shabbat. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night. With a ten stringed harp, with voice and lyre together, you have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai. I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai, how very subtle your designs. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. The righteous bloom, bloom like, like a, a date palm. palm. They thrive like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the house of Adonai, they flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, they still produce fruit. They are full of sap and freshness, attesting that Adonai is upright, my rock in whom there is no wrong. Page 144, 144, please rise for the Chatzikah. Yikadal ve yitkadash meraba be almadi frakir te ve amlich malchute be chaye chonok yo me chon of chaye de chol bet Yisrael bagala bagala of Isman kari ve imeru amen. Ya Heshmera ba mevorach le alla mulal me almaya it parak it parak ve yishtabach it pa arvit ramam ve yit nase ve yit hatar ve yit dale ve yit dalal shemed kudeshav rikhu le elamin kol birchata ve shirata. Tush bechata venechemata dami hiran be alma be imeru amen. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to 
my prayer can you hear my voice can you understand am i awake am i prepared adonai Adonai ha-mevora Le-o-lam Top of page 148, let's join together in the Hebrew. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haulam, Asher Bidvaro Maari Varavim, Behochma Poter Sha'arim, Uvidvuna Mishane Itim, Umachalif et Tazmanim, Umisader et Akochavim, Bamish Miroteham Barakia Kitsono, Ore Yom Valila. Kolel or mi pene hoshech, the hoshech mi pene or, ma vir yom u mevi lila, mavdil bain yom u vain lila, adonai tsva ot shemo, el chai vikayam tamid im lo chalenu leolam va ed. Baro hata adonai, tamahari. Please be seated. Ve'ahavta et Adonai alochecha ve'chol levavcha uve'chol nafshecha uve'chol meodecha ve'hayu hadevarim ha'elde. Asher anochi mitzavecha, hayom alevavecha, 
ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת רבם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשופך ובגוניך ושרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזיזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי ואיתם קדושים לאלוקיכם אני אדוני אלוקיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוקים אני אדוני אלוקיכם אדוני אלוקיכם אמת In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we are delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way, inspired by prophets and instructed by sages. Time and again, we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages, your vision of a world restored. Let us continue, continue to root for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of this sea. <laughs> Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, apore sukat shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. Let's join together on page 162. Veshamru b'nei Yisrael. Oh, oh, oh. 
ששת ימים עשה אדוני, עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ It's your first time here, you'll wonder what we're doing right now, but we take a deep breath and we sigh out the week that was. Are you ready? Ah, that's it. And now we take another in-breath and we resonate with joy, the rest to come. Are you ready? Ah, yes. Shabbat Page 164, 164, please rise for the tefillah. Adonai, sefatai tiftah, ufiyagi. Tehilatecha Adonai Open up my lips That my mouth may declare Your praise Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avoteno ve Imoteno Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzhak Elohe Yaako Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leha Ha El Hagadol Hagibor ve Hanora El Elon Gomel Hasadi Tovim Lekone ha kol, bezocher ha stay avot ve imachot, ume vigil lalif nevene hem, le ma an shemo ve ahava, melecho zeru moshia umagain, paro hata adonai, magain avraham bezrat sarah. Atagi por le olam Adonai, mechaye ha kol atarav le koshia, morid ha tal, mechakel chaim be chesed, mechaye ha kol be rachamim rabim, so mech no flim virofe holim, o matir asurim. O mekayem emunato li shene afar mi chamocha ba'al gevurot o mi dom elach melech memid mechaye o matzmiak yeshua v'neamana tala hachayot hakol. Baruch Ata Adonai Mechayeh HaKol Ata Kadosh Veshim HaKadosh Ukdoshim Bechol Yom Yechalu Chasela Baruch Ata Adonai HaEl HaKadosh Please be seated. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts of 
Open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day, and may this day fulfill its promise. Find favor, Adonai, our God, with your people Israel, and accept their prayer and love. May the worship of your people Israel always be acceptable. God, who is near to all who call, turn lovingly to your servants. Pour your spirit upon us. Let our eyes behold your love and return to Zion. Blessed are you, Adonai, whose presence returns to Zion. Baruch atah Adonai, hamachazir shechinatoho letzion. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us, so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch atah Adonai, hatav shimcha u'lecha na'e lechodo. On page 178, we sing together this prayer for peace. Shalom Raha. Israel Let us pause now for a few moments of silent personal meditation.
turn now in our prayer books to page 371, page 371, for the Mishaberach, the prayer for healing. Mishaberach, Avotenu v'imotenu, Avraham Yitzhak v'yakov, Sara Rivka Rachel v'lea, hu yivarech v'yirapeya v'cholim, may the Holy One who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, Bless and heal all those who are ill at this time. And as we pray to God for healing, we mention Mary Salomon, Lenore Sorger, Francesco Catari, Miriam Dove, Carm Perry, Emily Appel, Eva Morris, Zahava Malka Sapir, Chuck Weinroth, Sina, Noah Felix, Laura Katari, Frida Ravkina, Mikhail Ravkin, Gladys Mosley, Kara Carlo, Barry Pekalis, Daniel Loweth, Loriana Fell, Norella Fortman, Shlomit Acheroli, John Gentles, Philip Shamas, Anna Herman, Ann Cutler, Fagy Fisher, and Tema Gentles. Akadosh Baruch Hu, may the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body, mind, and spirit. And we say together, Amen. And on the same page, you'll find the words to Misha Berach in the middle. Misha Berach, Our Jewish tradition, there's considered nothing more holy, nothing that brings us one step closer to a time of peace and perfection than a young man and a young woman, two sacred souls becoming one through marriage. And uh, you know what? It's been really nice lately. We've had a number of young couples getting married in our community. It seems like for a while that wasn't fashionable or something, but then again, we had a pandemic, so weddings weren't happening. So we're catching up now. So at this time, it is more than my pleasure to invite Ryan, Brom Ryan Bromberg Barwin and Caitlin Perkins to come up to the Bima. One up, you can leave your prayer book. And I would like to invite all of their grandparents and their grandparents to join them on the Bima. you guys come stand here right in the middle and parents and grandparents why don't you gather around them behind them oh, you went around. develop them in your <laughs> presence in your life there you go perfect
<laughs> the God who blessed the men and women of Israel in every generation, bless this bride, Caitlin, and this room, Ryan. As you prepare to become husband and wife, we pray that the sacred commitments of your wedding day will sustain you through all the days of your lives. May the love that binds you be lasting and let your hearts be filled with patience and understanding. May your marriage be a joy and a good example to all who know you. May you, fa may you fashion a home worthy of praise, a secure refuge where you will find tranquility during all of your days together. May the love of this couple inspire and bless their family, their friends, and their community. And may they always be blessed with happiness, joy, and peace. And together we say, Amen. Amen. We're going to do it all of it together. You ready? Thank you, God, for this precious moment. How sweet it is for us to see our children marry. And as we rejoice on this day, as they prepare to stand under the cover, we ask that you grant our children full lives and good health. How can I express what I feel for my beloved child? My heart is full to overflowing as my child joins hands with another on the threshold of a new life. I pray that the home they establish be built on firmer foundations. May their love grow deeper through the years, and may their union mature through shared tasks and thoughts and endeavor. May the family they create become a strong part of our larger family. God of life, let your divine presence illumine their home and their lives. Blessing them with unfailing love. Amen. Amen. Can I just do you have personal words to say? Oh, they're going to speak to you. We can speak. I'm using my chair. You're Simon and Caitlin, we love you both and we're so happy to be with you today as you look toward your future together on the eve of your wedding day. There's a beautiful little poem by Robert Bly. Here it is. When we are in love, we love the grass and the barns and the light poles and the small main streets abandoned all, light, all night. Like in the poem, we wish that together you may always find love for the world, its small and big things, it's bright and it's lost things, it's complicated and growing things. What is hoped for and what is surprising, all of what it is to be fully human in the world, to walk together as true partners, friends, confidants, and supporters. May you be by each other's sides, always able to navigate life's challenges and pleasures, its curveballs and delights, and share a vision for life's possibilities. May you always feel the love and support of family, friends, and community, and above all, each other. May you go together into a future filled with kindness, compassion, curiosity, trust, understanding, creativity, and love. May you always be your beloved, and may always your beloved be yours. Kate and Ryan. May the God of wildly extravagant love continue to bless your relationship. May God walk with you in the difficult times, console you when you are distressed, weep with you when you grieve, hold your pain gently when you are hurting, and wrap you in unconditional love when you feel broken. May God dance beside you when you are filled with joy, laugh with you when you are delighted, sing with you when your lives are redolent with meaning and purpose, and celebrate with you when you are jubilant. 
As the Spirit of God walks with you, may you each feel deeply secure in who you are. May you feel supported and nurtured by your family and friends. May you inhabit your corner of the world with grace, compassion, and gratitude. And may your hearts and your spirits continue to grow and flourish. Brian and Caitlin, may you always feel the presence of God cherishing you, encouraging you to embrace all that you are called to be, and loving you beyond measure. Amen. 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 On this Shabbat, we raise a cup of wine, sanctifying the seventh day and drinking in the wonder of creation. We marvel at the generations here tonight. We marvel at the life cycle events we are privileged to share. We celebrate Jewish learning and the beginning of taking on adult responsibility. We celebrate the bringing together of two souls in marriage. This Shabbat is full of the joy of community. This for you are the Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the truth of the vine. Anybody else? <laughs> All right. Can I have some pride and stuff? Can I have some pride and group and step forward? Bow your heads. Yivarech Adonai Ve'yishmerech May God bless you and keep you. Yaher Adonai Panavelecha God's light shine upon you and be gracious. God be your guide in whatever path your lives may take from this point on together. May God grant you the greatest of all gifts, the gift of shalom, the gift Amen. of peace. Amen. 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 One more thing to do. May I? No? I want your hand. <laughs> Jerry celebrated a special birthday just yesterday. <laughs> so I wanted to offer a special blessing for you on this occasion. Author of life, our times are in your hand. 
We thank you for the blessing of life and for everything that enriches our lives. We turn to you now with special gratitude to share in the happiness of Jerry Bronstein, Bromberg. Sorry. Who, standing here surrounded by family and surrounded by love, has celebrated her birthday this week. Be with those who stand before you now. Oh, God, be with those who stand before you now and always. May Jerry be blessed with health and happiness and with the strength to overcome sickness and sorrow. And we pray that each day brings Jerry an abundance of blessings. And we say together, Amen. 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 So much to celebrate. What a wonderful evening. So while I was away on sabbatical during the last few months, we had a wonderful slate of lay leaders who helped fill in in all kinds of different capacities and uh, who were regularly helping out the cantor, leading services and delivering Divrei Torah, sermons, sharing some thoughts about the week's Torah portion. Um, and it was really wonderful uh, that it was so wonderful and so much enjoyed hearing the different uh, people sharing their thoughts. And sometimes I was lurking around on Zoom, so I got to hear a few of those words as well from afar. And Paul Jay, the father of uh, our bat mitzvah this weekend and of our service leader this evening, of Lila and Noah was one of those who delivered a number of different Divrei Torah, and uh, I hear you were smash it each and every time. And, uh, and so we're going to continue that tradition this evening, and Noah is going to be the first to continue that tradition and to step in his father's footsteps. <laughs> Noah, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Well, listen, this is a highly regarded young man. He serves as the president of the Hamilton chapter, the uh, BBYO, the B'nai B'rith, uh, the, the youth organization. And so it really is indeed my pleasure to introduce Noah Jay to share with us some of his thoughts on this week's tour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's raise the mic up. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. This week in the Torah, we are given a double portion. Matot and Ma'aseh are paired together most years to be sure we read the entire Torah scroll. Only when we have a leap year with an extra lunar month and an extra month has five Shabbatot will these Torah portions be separated. My sister Lila marks her bat mitzvah this Shabbat and will speak about Ma'aseh at tomorrow's Shabbat morning service. As the firstborn of my family, I thought I would lend my support by speaking about the first of this pair of Torah portions. Matod is found in the book of Numbers, chapters 30, verse 2, to chapter 32, verse 42. Matod means tribes, referring to the 12 tribes of Israel. In this portion, Moses instructs the Israelites on the laws surrounding making and breaking oaths. The Israelites destroy the Midianites in a war of vengeance, and the tribes of God and Reuben request to dwell outside the land of Israel in the recently conquered territory. As I went through the process of writing this Devar Torah, it seems slightly strange to me that we spend this much time and effort analyzing a millennia's old text. However, it was in going through this process of writing Devar myself that I found that it's the reviewing of multiple commentators, all of whom have struggled with this same text that I have, that makes the process so interesting. There's no easy way to justify the war the Jews are called to wage against the Midianites. However, when you read the more modern commentary, we realize that Jews are obliged to practice peace and only wage war in self-defense. We could go into deeper study on the justness of this ancient war, but there's something more pressing that has happened more recently. We have just marked the 500th day of war in Ukraine. And it feels to me that the public discourse around the war has shifted 
from outrage at an unprovoked and unjust war, something that we have to do something about, to a weariness and a pervading feeling that it should all end, no matter the consequences. What then can my tote, a call to commit an arguably unjust war, teach us about how to think about the Russian attack on Ukraine? The war against the Midianites is hard to reconcile with much of what the Torah and later commentators teach us. The Book of Psalms states, seek peace and pursue it. If the Midianite episode represents the low point of unjustified or thinly justified aggression, much of the rest of Jewish thought centers on pursuing peace and permitting violence only in self-defense. Ukrainian defenders, called up from all walks of life, fight to preserve their country, their liberty, and their lives. We are not accepted from defending Ukraine by distance or geography, safe in our homes in Canada. We must push our leaders not to be silent and therefore complicit in the face of unprovoked aggression, feeding the narcissistic ego of Vladimir Putin. Within Parshama Tote, the Israelites engage in battles against their adversaries, yet their conduct during warfare is regulated by something similar to a modern code of ethics. There is an emphasis placed on protecting innocent lives and minimizing unnecessary harm, although the scope of innocence has become more all-encompassing since then. As the conflict in Ukraine can persists, it is crucial for all parties to prioritize the sanctity of human life. Reports of Russian atrocities continue to come in, and again, I worry that fresh news of horrors becomes dulled through repetition. Ironically enough, it was Stalin who said a single death is a tragedy, a million deaths is a, is a statistic. Each Russian attack must be treated as exceptional, abnormal, and barbarous, no matter how depressingly frequent. One essential lesson found in Parsha Matot is the idea of collective responsibility. The tribes of Israel fought together, acknowledging their shared destiny and common purpose. This comes despite a history of tribal dissension and multiple rifts. Similarly, the international community must recognize its collective responsibility to support the people of Ukraine. Humanitarian aid, providing refuge for displaced individuals, military support, and working towards a satisfactory resolution are all ways in which the global community can and must stand in solidarity with Ukraine. Lastly, Parsha Matot teaches us about the importance of reconciliation and healing after periods of conflict. Following the battles against the Midianites, the Israelites undergo a process of purification and atonement. This journey towards reconciliation and restoration is an essential step in a post-war world, but it is not guaranteed and it is not always well executed. In the aftermath of the war in Ukraine, efforts must be made to address grievances and work towards a future of peace, in addition to physical rebuilding efforts. In conclusion, many parallels can be drawn between the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and the conflict against the Midianites by the Israelites. For me, the central lesson we must take from a tote and from thousands of years of post war commentary is that we need to strive for peace above all. I think our future is in good hands. <laughs> And you've got somebody who's uh, nipping at your heels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My friends, we're going to conclude our prayers now on page 586, page 586. And we invite you to please rise for the Elena. Aleinu l'shaveak l'adon ha'kol, l'atet g'dula l'yotze b'reshit, sh'lo asanu k'goe ha'ratzot, v'lo samanu k'mishpachot ha'adama, sh'lo sam chelkenu k'ahem, v'gohar aleinu k'chol ha'monam. Ba'anachnu korarim, u'mishtachavim u'motim, l'ifne melech malchei hamlachim, ha'kadosh baruch hu, she'hunno t'shamayim ve'yosir ha'aretz, u'moshev ikaro b'shamayim im'ahal, u'shin ha'tuzo, u'shin ha'tuzo, he Adonai who ha Elohim, Basham Ahim Imal, they all ha Aretz, they all ha Aretz, 
Our thoughts turn now to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to all of humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and of death. At this time, we remember Barbara Shore and Sharon Lax, who both passed away during the last month, during Shloshim. And those whose yard sighting occurred during this past week, Abraham Pakin, Thel Levy, Benjamin Racklin, David Dykeman, Edna Enken, Emmy Dreyfus, Eric Hoffman, Ethel Seltzer, Hedda Popper, Isidore Goldman, Jeffrey Lyons, Joan Rosenthal, Joseph Dolovich, Louis Burke, Michael Howard, Norman Tattlebaum, Robert During, Sarah Morris, Solomon Yanover, Theodore Sussman, and Thomas Levine. We also note with sadness the passing yesterday of Richard Epand. Richard will have a graveside funeral service on Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Temple Anche Shalom Cemetery. May the memories of the righteous be for all of us as an abiding blessing as we remember them and we praise God with the Kaddish Yatom, the Mourner's Kaddish, which can be found on page 598, page 598. Yit Gadal v'yit Kaddash Shemei Rabbah, v'yalmad dibrach kirutei v'yamlich malchutei, v'chai achon v'yomei achon, v'chai d'achol beit Yisrael, Bagala of his man Kari Vimru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mivarach Leolam Ome Omaya. Yit Barach Vishtabach Yit Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase. Yit Adar Vitale Vitalal Shme de Kudisha Brithu. Leela Miko Birchata Vashirata. Tushbachata Venechamata. Damiran Vioma Vimru Amen. Yehe Shlomo Rabba Min Shemaya, Bechaim Aleinu V'yalcho Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Ose Shalom Vimru Amen, Uya Ase Shalom Aleinu V'yalcho Yisrael, Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all those who mourn, and comfort to all those who are bereaved among us. We say together, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I want to thank uh, Gary Barwin with providing us with some uh, music to usher in our service uh, this evening. And I want to invite everybody to stick around um, after Kiddush and Motsi just for a few moments when the grandfather, Larry, is going to share some violin with us. And Laser tells me, Laser tells me that he hasn't played in a little while, but is so excited to to have his hands back on his violin. So we'll look forward to that. And at this time, I want to invite, where are we? I want to invite Mr. Roy Paulington to come forward to share with us some announcements. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Our celebration of Shabbat will continue tomorrow morning. Join with Rabbi Cohen for Torah study at 9 a.m., both in person in the library and online on Zoom. Our Shabbat morning service will begin at 10.30 a.m. 
here in the sanctuary when we will celebrate with the Rosenberg J family as Lila becomes Bat Mitzvah. Rabbi Cohen will report on his recent experiences in Israel with two special summer sessions for learning and discussion. As we all know, there is much going on in Israel recently and events are changing almost daily. These briefings will take place on Monday, July 24th and August 14th at 7 p.m. Mazel tov, and thank you to Noah J for his wonderful Devar Torah and Mazel tov, and thank you to the Rosenberg J family and the Bromberg Barwin family for sponsoring the Oneg Shabbat that will follow immediately after our service in the Mandel Auditorium. Everyone is welcome and Mazel tov to Ryan Bromberg Barwin and Caitlin Perkins on their upcoming wedding and Mazel tov and thank you to the Brombergs and the Bromberg Barwin family for hosting the Shabbat dinner before the service in Ryan and Caitlin's honor. And thank you to Norm Eby for live streaming our service and to Donna Bidwell and Steve Smith for ser serving as our Zoom hosts. And remember, if you are marking a significant occasion or want to remember or honor someone special, please consider sponsoring an Oneg Shabbat. Contact the temple office for details. Shabbat Shalom. It is our tradition at Temple Anche Shalom and our blessing really uh, to have a wonderful Deborah sisterhood the, and at every time we celebrate a bar bat mitzvah, um, the president or representative of the sisterhood always makes a presentation. So it is now my pleasure to invite Michelle Gunn, president of the Deborah sisterhood to come up to the Bima. Ayla, I'm gonna invite you to come on up as well. Lila, on behalf of the Deborah Sisterhood, I want to wish you a hearty mazel tov as you celebrate your bat mitzvah and prepare to read from the Torah tomorrow. I know your family, friends, and teachers are very proud of you, as you should be as well. The Deborah Sisterhood was, first, was the first group of Jewish women organized for charitable, charitable purposes in Canada over 170 years ago. Our mission is to enhance and support all aspects of temple life, socially, financially, and spiritually. As Rabbi mentioned, Sisterhood has a long-standing tradition of presenting a gift to our bar and bat mitzvahs. We would like to present you with this gift, spoiler alert, of candlesticks. <laughs> we hope the light from the candles on Shabbat and Jewish holidays will remind you of your bat mitzvah and you will look back on it with pride. May the wisdom you've gained studying for your bat mitzvah guide you into the future. Again, mazel tov. Michelle, thank you so much. Larry, how about we go before Kiddush and Mitzvah? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Larry Baumberg. <laughs> otherwise known to those who love him as the laser. First of all, I just want to remind a few of you who attended my daughter Beth's wedding 36 years ago. And a couple of hands spoke her up to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, I played uh, on the front step, and then we had to play the violin. 26 years ago, and got a cover girl, a love song that will be on road. And at that point, I could still play the violin, but I've not touched the violin in 26 years. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as you can hear, really speaking, it's rust. <laughs> 
Please rise. <laughs> Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, We are very blessed, uh, Rhonda Dahan bakes us wonderful challah all the time. We have individually wrapped challah buns, which became our tradition during the pandemic. So, And I want to acknowledge the president of Temple Oche Shalom, Marla Frank Davis, and invite Marla to come down and help distribute the challah buns. 
will reveal these people from you. Thank you, Marla. And our bride and groom. Please join us for the dessert reception on Egg Shabbat in the Mandel Auditorium directly at the back of the Thank sanctuary. You, There's a dessert on Egg waiting for you all right through the doors at the back. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom.